uh, to uh, a world war, or they've compared it to a depression. Um, I think it's it, it's both of those things. This is the most um, existential crisis uh, that our world has faced, um, not only in the living memory of people in this room, um, but when you start to, to look back into the ages, it's hard to find um, a comparable, given the interconnectedness of our global economy in terms of trade, in terms of human relations. Whilst some people say that we're better prepared with technology to respond, I think that's absolutely right. Uh, we are so <coughs> co-dependent um, uh, between our countries in terms of trade and commerce uh, that uh, this, uh, uh, this virus uh, uh, will have such an impact uh, that governments now, and I know that there's a whole lot of people who've been waiting for this moment, not so much a pandemic, but they've been waiting for the moment where people are reminded about the importance of government the importance of government in terms of the delivery of trusted services, health, um, education, uh, welfare, support across the whole social safety net. Uh, that there are people uh, over many years who believe that the private sector uh, and that, um, uh, that uh, the market can produce best outcomes for people. But mm. it is times like this which remind people the importance of having a, um, a, 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 a public a, public, a government delivering public services in a manner which supports the community across all corners of the community, not just in a narrow uh, cast uh, delivery. Um, government now is essential. Yeah. It is the only organisation in this community globally, and governments need to work together across, um, across not only states but across international borders to work together to respond to this crisis. Uh, and it's so important that governments uh, are given the resources and are provided the resources by their parliaments uh, to respond uh, to what is, um, as I've said, uh, the biggest existential crisis um, that this, uh, that this, well, in my lifetime uh, and in, in generations. Well, it's a bit, it's not dissimilar from global heating, it's just happening a lot. Unfortunately, uh, uh, policymakers over a number of cycles, electoral cycles, and governments at state and federal level uh, have, um, by virtue of their policy, um, undermined, I think, the capacity of governments to respond. Absolutely. And now, and all of these things in terms of public discourse and public policy, um, uh, they're a pendulum. Mm -hmm. um, well, this is a pendulum swing mm -hmm. which reminds people the fundamental importance of governments to look after each other, mm -hmm. um, to make sure that our communities can get through safely, um, not only socially, not only uh, environmentally, but from a health and welfare basis, not only personally, your personal health, but the health of the economy. Uh, and uh, uh, this, is, this is the FDR moment globally. This is the moment where political leadership is required uh, to, uh, uh, mm. to spend the money, uh, to invest in um, key essential government services to keep people safe to keep people healthy, to uh, use, uh, use the leverage of a government to invest in the economy, um, to not only, it's not about stimulus, it's not, we shouldn't be talking about a stimulus. Um, this is a support and recovery program, um, and this is the time for big government, and big government, not in a pejorative sense, but big government <coughs> to, uh, uh, to, to re-enter the field to play its role that it has played in many times of crisis uh, to get people through this. So with those um, opening, um, uh, opening sort of comments and the context within which we work, um, uh, I will say broadly that we support the measures in the bill to appropriate, not only to appropriate extra money uh, to be able to spend it as and when needed. Um, I do say that I think we may not be doing enough. Um, there may not be enough money there. I mean, when you look at some of the dollars, uh, that are being um, allocated, um, they are, they're, they're not small amounts, we, we gather that, um, but I think the depth of uh, the crisis that we will face in weeks and months to come will mean um, there will be um, extraordinary measures required. And so um, on my feet in the contribution, I will commit to the government that if you need to come back for more, if you need to provide, uh, get the parliament to approve extra money to respond to the needs of our community, um, the Labor Party will be here waiting to pass those measures uh, because we know the private sector is collapsing um, as we... Uh, excuse me. As we see across the community, we saw... Um, 
uh, companies make the toughest of decisions yesterday, and that is not... I mean, we know people have been losing their jobs for the last week and a half already, um, and we know the decisions yesterday has had a wide impact. Um, we've seen the lines um, outside Centrelink offices, uh, which again is another reflection on the important role you know, in a social democratic society to have a proper functioning welfare system yep. and to have people not be able to access the offices, um, having uh, websites crash because they're not, they haven't built the capacity to respond. Yes, it was an incredible peak, um, but we've not seen such scenes since the 1930s. And so it is incumbent on government uh, to have the capacity and the resources to respond to the need of the community. And the money that we're talking about today at a state level will go some way in supporting public servants and, and government officers in responding to the needs of the community. But I would say, and I would forecast, there will be a need for more. And we will be here, um, as I said, uh, to support you in seeking more funds, if required, uh, to respond to the needs um, of the community. Um, the tourism um, and, and hospitality industry had a woeful day yesterday. Um, and it's going to be worse today. It'll be worse tomorrow. It'll just get harder for them. And we know uh, that they, they are the first domino to fall. Sadly, they are the first domino to fall in terms of the real and, and brutal day-to-day -day economic um, results of, of this pandemic uh, and the economic impact on our community. And our heart goes out to those industries and those workers and those families uh, that rely on those jobs. Um, and again, um, it, uh, it's a fundamental rethink about how our economy now is organised um, and the safety nets that we need to put in place um, so that people can have a civilised and dignified life um, and that we don't see the depravities that we saw in the 1930s uh, in terms of uh, the wastage, the human wastage and, and, the, um, uh, and the scrap heap that so many individuals and families were, thrown on, were flown on. Um, we need... Um, this is an extraordinary time and it's a, it's a reminder about the importance that we have as legislators to support governments in making fundamentally important decisions to get people through this. Um, we don't want to have a return um, to fascism. We don't want to have a return um, to um, uh, uh, societies uh, where uh, people feel so disconnected, feel so support, uh, lack of, uh, unsupported by their governments uh, that they, they turn to extreme ways. I'm not being... This is not being... Um, no, that's completely, hyperbolic. It is completely absolutely. Realistic. When you look at the when you look at the echo, the, the lessons in history yep. of when people don't feel like they have no choice, feel like they have no um, ability uh, to uh, uh, be appreciated by society and conduct and be uh, and conduct their lives in a decent and respectful way, they resort to extreme results. Mm -hmm. um, and um, we we do not underestimate the impact that this is having on people. Uh, so um, the, the importance of governments to, to have the resources uh, to not only intervene in the market where there's a market failure, and there clearly is a failure um, of the market now, but to intervene and to be uh, bigger and stronger in terms of their response is never more uh, needed um, than what we're seeing today and we'll no doubt see when governments make decisions. ..with the four bills. Um, we support the government's in its action um, to do whatever it takes and to spend as much money as reasonably expected um, to respond to the devastating impact on our community uh, and on our economy uh, that this virus will wreak. Um, and again, um, it's a reminder uh, about the importance of good government, uh, of government um, uh, making good decisions on behalf of its community uh, and not uh, leaving it to others to resolve. And uh, it, it reminds us of the important that government is here to ensure a functioning society and a functioning community. Um, and fundamentally, that is about dignity and respect. And working people and people that rely on government services deserve that at least. Here, here. Honourable Leader of the Greens.